everybody and welcome back to my channel well before we jump in i want to say thank you guys so much for your love and support uh, over the last couple of weeks while i was battling the coronavirus uh, i'm uh, happy to say that i've been cleared by my doctor i'm uh, ready to go will probably take another week or so before i get my energy back but that said all's good and we're ready to do new videos right so uh, I announced that on my other channel, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed that I have a second channel. If you uh, have not noticed that, please check it out. It would mean the world to me. Uh, there's a link up here. And basically what I do on that channel is I show you behind the scenes stuff, right? So when I do kind of business-like sessions, so maybe interviews, maybe some photography stuff and so forth, right? So please check that out. Okay, so for today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an ice cream cone, right? Ice cream cone filled with delicious ice cream. Here we go. All right, guys. Well, I'm very happy to be making new videos again and, uh, you know, to just get out of that rut. And uh, that said, hopefully you guys are safe and doing OK and are not completely going out of your mind just yet. Right. OK, so we're going to be doing an ice cream cone with ice cream. And hopefully one day we'll actually be able to go out and get one of those. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a reference. I'm going to go with the second one on the left. Basically, these two are the same, but this is the right perspective. And it's just as a reference, right? So I'm going to take one of uh, these guys right here, and I'm going to flip it around. Hit E to rotate. Hold on J. Let's make sure we're in object mode. Right-click object mode. There you go. Yeah. Hold on J and flip it upright like so. There you go. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. And we're going to change the height subdivision to, let's say, 10. And actually, I need to do that here. Right, 10. Yeah. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit R in object mode. And we're going to stretch that out until we're pretty close to our reference, right? That's not too bad. Now, mine is sticking out a little bit at the bottom there, which is fine because I want that pointy bit to be gone and I want it to kind of be rounded down here, right? So that's fine. So we're going to go in here. Let's do that in this view. Why not? We're going to right click the other face. I'm going to drag select the bottom and just simply delete it. All right. Now that we have that, let's go into perspective view. And let me just get this image out of the way here. Let me go and push it back a little like so all right after frame that we're going to go in here and we're going to close that up okay so i'm going to right click on the edge i'm going to double click on that so what we're going to do here is hit Control e to extrude we're going to hit r to scale in like this right and as we do so we're going to hit w and kind of push it down a little bit right we're going to g to repeat last command we're going to hit r to push in again like so, and W to push down, right? Then finally, we're gonna go up to mesh and fill hole. And to get rid of the end gone right there, we're gonna to go to face, select the face and go to edit mesh and poke. There you have it. So now if we go in and we hit three, that's what it looks like, all right. So the bottom bit looks okay. We're gonna hit one to go back. We don't want that top like that. So we're gonna right click the face. We're gonna delete that. And then we're gonna have a look at our reference here. Okay. Now, as you can see, we can bring it in a little bit if you like. We don't necessarily have to, but we can, right? So why not do that? We're gonna right click the vertex. We're gonna go in here and let's bring it in and bring it in doesn't have to be exactly the same but we have a reference for a reason right so let me just clean that up just a little bit not bad getting there yet that one's okay that one will flare out just a little bit and then we'll flare that out a little bit too okay now um that looks fine now what we're going to do next is we're going to go in here 
we're going to right click at the edge we're going to double click on this and i want a kind of a thicker part in that area right there so i'm going to hit Control e to extrude r to scale out just a little bit g to repeat w to push up like so g to repeat r to scale in like so and if you want to have the exact distance we're going to look from the top and you can see you have to go in a little bit further like that right then we're going to g to repeat w to push up and then we're going to start on that shape here right now i'm just going to look at one side of this guy so i'm going to hit g to repeat w to push up and right now what i'm interested in is kind of even spacing right so i'm going to do this and hit g to repeat and just keep on going g to repeat g to repeat g to repeat and we'll go up to here and g to repeat all right okay next what we're going to do is we're going to right click get a vertex and i'm going to start to scale these out hit r skill and i'm only looking at the left side here right because it's symmetrical there you go we'll take the next one and bring it out like this take the next one bring it out like that and that one and bring it out like that okay so now that we have the overall shape basically we can get rid of our reference right okay so let's go into object mode delete that get this out of the way and let's find ways to clean this up a little bit now you see that pinching going on there let's sort that out so what we're going to do there is we're going to hit Control i well, that's a shortcut for me anyway for insert edge loop yeah and i'm going to go in here and i'll put one in there just to kind of hold that shape there that should help and then we're going to go up here and i'm going to put one right there hit q on my keyboard and i'm going to go to face select these control e to extrude r to scale out That should be fine and then of course we want to have patterns in our cone so we're going to take this and this yep yeah. and then we're going to go in to edit mesh and poke which will give us this pattern right here and then from here what we're going to do is we're going to hold on the tab key and we're going to start to make this pattern here bit right okay now this is going to look quite different once it's smooth right but now that we have this what we're going to do is we're going to control e to extrude let's do 0 0.1 on the thickness this is a bit much 0 0.01 on the thickness and then what we'll do is we'll hit a g so let me repeat that last command and 0 0.01 again all right so now if you go in here and hit three to preview smooth, we should get a nice pattern. There you go, right. Now we have that, we've got this guy on the top there. Now down here, we want something of a pattern as well. And as you can see right now, these are not perfect uh, squares. So let's see if you can improve on that a little bit. Control I, in my case, to insert edge loop. We'll do multiple and one. And then we'll go in here and I'll put one in the middle there so one there one there 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 and then we're gonna leave the bottom alone right okay so now that we have that how do we create that pattern well we're gonna go in here and I'm going to right click at a face and I'm not gonna take the bottom row there I'm not gonna take the top row so we'll just take these like so and with these selected, we're going to go in to Edit Mesh and Poke, which will give us that pattern. Now, we still have all these faces selected, right? So what we're going to do next is we're going to hit Control e to Extrude and keep face together. We're going to turn that off, right? So now, if we tweak the offset and we have to go in the right direction, so let's do 0 0.01. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. So we've got 0 0.01, yeah. Um, maybe even 0 0.02. 
Yeah, it looks kind of neat. Yep. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tweak the thickness. So we again need to go in the right direction. So let's do 0 0.01 and have a look. And that is not bad. I think that's what we're going to go for. Yeah. So we're going to go to object mode and we'll get something like this, which is kind of neat. All right. Now keep in mind, this is not smooth yet, right? So if we select this guy and we hit three to preview smooth, it will look something like this. And that's pretty cool. Okay, now that we have that, it's time for our actual ice cream. Uh, for that, we're gonna take one of these cones once again. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move that up. We're gonna hit R to scale it, so it kind of fits our cone for the most part. Then we're gonna select our cone, we're gonna hit H to hide it, and we're gonna focus on this guy. All right, so we're gonna hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. I want a subdivision level of 12, and I want subdivision height, let's do eight. There you have it. Now, before we go any further, I'm gonna go in here and delete that bottom face, get rid of that. And then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna right click and uh, so we're gonna click and shift, double click here. And we're gonna select every other row. That's why that number 12 is so important because you want an even number, obviously. All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna hit Control E to extrude. I'm gonna give it some thickness. Let's not go nuts here, but do something like 0.2 maybe, yeah. And then we're gonna hit R, the skill, right? So R, the skill, yeah. And then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna kind of scale it down like this. So the bottom is pushed up a little bit and the top is pushed down a little bit, right? Now, you probably think it doesn't look anything like ice cream, but be patient, we'll get there, right? So now that we have this, we're gonna go into object mode and we're gonna go up to uh, deform uh, nonlinear and uh, twist, which will give us this twist handle, right? So if we hit Control A to open the attribute editor and we go in here, you see that we've got a start angle and end angle and so forth. Now let's go in here and see what happens. If we start to twist this around, you see that we get a nice twist. Now, how far you want to twist is up to you. I wouldn't do it too extreme. I wouldn't do something like this. It doesn't look right, but maybe something like that. That will work, yeah? So I got that. I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna go up to Edit, Delete by Type, and History to get rid of that control, right? Now, it still doesn't really look like ice cream, but if we have three to preview smooth it, you get something like this. And that's starting to look a lot better, right? Now, if you want to tweak this, and let me go in here to, um, let's see, we're going to go to display, we're going to go to show and all, and we're going to make this fit our cone here. So we're going to scale it up. We don't want it to cut through there. There you go. So that's not looking too, that's not too bad. Uh, let's have a look from a proportion standpoint. Pretty good, I would say. But if you're adamant about it and you want to kind of change the appearance, the appearance here, what you can do is hit one. We're gonna right click at the edge. Let's double click on one of these edges and we're gonna hit B for soft select. And then you can kind of tweak it. So you can make it thicker in the middle, you can make it thinner on top. So go in here uh, to edge. I mean, you can do that, right? Depending on what you like. I think this is not too bad. What I would recommend though is, for example, go in here and take these vertices with B selected, right? Just so we have a little bit of impact there hit W and kind wow. of sway that tip over. Now, you only want to do that with a tip, just a little bit, all right? So it looks a little bit more natural. Now, when that's all said and done, you're gonna go in here and you're gonna hit R to scale the whole thing down so it fits into your cone, like this, right? And then you're gonna go up to Mesh and Smooth to actually smooth it. Subdivision level is one, you can do two if you like. To get rid of those yellow lines, hit B on your keyboard. So that's gone. So that's your ice cream, right? 
this is your cone, which is still preview smooth right now. So we'll do the same there, mesh and smooth. And again, we can do level two if you like. All right. And then we have an ice cream cone. That's all there's to it. Okay, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please do me a favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button because that will allow me to do a lot more videos, right? Well, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.